Phosphatidylcholine, benefits, side effects and more. Phosphatidylcholine PC, is a phospholipid attached to a choline particle. Phospholipids contain fatty acids, glycerol, and phosphorus. Moreover, the phosphorus part of the phospholipid substance, the lecithin, is made up of phosphatidylcholine. For this reason, the terms phosphatidylcholine and lecithin are often used interchangeably, although they're different. And foods that contain lecithin are the best dietary sources of phosphatidylcholine. Although phosphatidylcholine is traditionally used to support brain health, it can also support liver function and keep cholesterol levels in check. Learn more about the benefits of this nutritional supplement. 1. Phosphatidylcholine can help boost cognitive function. According to a 1995 study on mice with dementia, phosphatidylcholine supplementation can increase the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the brain. Therefore, it can improve memory. Also, the study found that mice without dementia had no memory increase, despite the increase in acetylcholine levels. Meanwhile, a 2001 study found feeding mice a diet rich in phosphatidylcholine. And vitamin B12 also had a positive impact on brain health. Although these results are promising, more study is needed. Research has continued, and a 2017 study has found that levels of phosphatidylcholine are directly related to Alzheimer's disease. 2. Phosphatidylcholine may aid in liver repair. A high-fat diet is known to negatively affect the liver. It may cause non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or cirrhosis of the liver. However, according to a 2010 study, phosphatidylcholine helped reduce lipids. That can lead to a fatty liver, hepatic lipids, in mice fed a high-fat diet. Also, another study on mice reviewed whether bringing elevated levels of phosphatidylcholine back to normal helps prevent non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. As a result, research found that it helps prevent fat accumulation in the liver. However, it does not prevent non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. 3. Phosphatidylcholine may promote lipolysis. Lipolysis is the breakdown of fats in the body. Too much fat may cause lipomas to form. Meanwhile, lipomas are painful, benign fatty tumors. Most are removed surgically. According to a 2014 study, injecting phosphatidylcholine into a lipoma can kill its fat cells and reduce its size. However, more study is needed to determine the long-term safety of this treatment. 4. Phosphatidylcholine may help dissolve gallstones. Gallstones are hard deposits in your gallbladder. They're usually made of undissolved cholesterol or bilirubin. When left untreated, they may become lodged in your bile ducts and cause severe pain or pancreatitis. According to a 2003 study, phosphatidylcholine supplementation reduced cholesterol gallstone formation in mice fed a high cholesterol diet. The study found that when phosphatidylcholine levels increased, cholesterol saturation levels decreased. 5. Phosphatidylcholine may help ease symptoms of ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis causes inflammation in the digestive tract. It may also cause ulcers. Moreover, according to a 2010 study, people with ulcerative colitis often have reduced levels of phosphatidylcholine in their intestinal mucus. So, supplementation may help protect the mucus layer of the digestive tract and reduce inflammation. 6. Phosphatidylcholine may help protect against medication side effects. Some medications, such as nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAIDs, can cause severe gastrointestinal side effects with extended use. This includes stomach pain, gastric bleeding, and intestinal perforation. Moreover, according to a 2012 study, long-term NSAID use may disrupt a phospholipid layer of the gastrointestinal tract, cause gastrointestinal injury. And research has shown that phosphatidylcholine may help prevent NSAID-related gastrointestinal damage. How to use phosphatidylcholine? There are many brands of phosphatidylcholine to choose from. But they're not all created equal. Because supplements aren't well regulated. It can be challenging to know if you're getting a high quality product. So, you should choose a brand that is made in a GMP, good manufacturing practices, facility. Is made with pure ingredients. 
contains few or no additives, is tested by a third party, lists active and inactive ingredients on the label. There's no standardized dosage recommendation for phosphatidylcholine for most conditions. A common dose is 840 mg up to twice daily. But you should always defer to the dosage provided on the product. Your doctor can also help you determine a safe dosage for you. Potential Side Effects and Risks of Phosphatidylcholine To reduce your risk of side effects, start with the lowest dose possible and gradually work your way up to a full dose. So, be sure to follow the manufacturer's guidelines or your doctor's instructions. Oral phosphatidylcholine may cause excessive sweating. And taking more than 30 grams daily may cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Moreover, injecting phosphatidylcholine directly into a fatty tumor may cause severe inflammation or fibrosis. Specifically, it may also cause pain, burning, itching, bruising, edema, reddening of skin. Taking phosphatidylcholine with an ACE inhibitor, such as donepazil, Aricept, or Tacrine, Cognex, may increase acetylcholine levels in the body. This may cause cholinergic side effects, including seizures, muscle weakness, slow heart rate, breathing problems. In addition, taking phosphatidylcholine with cholinergic or anticholinergic drugs may also impact their effectiveness. In particular, phosphatidylcholine has not been proven safe for women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, and it's therefore not recommended. Advice for using phosphatidylcholine Phosphatidylcholine helps support many of your body's functions, ranging from fat metabolism to maintaining cell structure. You can get enough from foods such as eggs, red meat, and whole grains. And food sources are the best first choice. Supplements are the second option. Choose your brand after doing research on reputation and quality. As supplements are not regulated by the US Food and Drug Administration. Also, phosphatidylcholine supplements are available in capsule and liquid forms without a prescription. However, they're thought to be safe when used as directed for short periods of time. Moreover, injectable phosphatidylcholine must be administered by a health professional. So, if you'd like to add phosphatidylcholine to your routine, talk to your doctor. They can walk you through your individual benefits and risks, as well as answer any questions you may have. Thank you. I hope you are always happy and healthy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive useful information.